And let's return to Route 29. Now that we have more balls, we can actually catch more Pokémon. <laughs> Centret and Pidgey we're still after. Both of them should be able to appear here. So, hopefully we get lucky. Okay, Pidgey. That's the first one. Also, don't quite have that one yet. And it's a female, it looks like. So I need to think of a new name, quickly. <laughs> At least if I'm able to catch this one. Right, critical, but still not very effective, so... I think this is enough. Let's go try it. I don't have a way to actually inflict status um, ailments, so... <laughs> can only work with the HP bar, for now. And that seems to be enough. Pidgey has been caught. Another returning Pokémon from Gen 1. So, we already know the Pokédex. <laughs> and Pidgey, I was called Paul, whenever it's a boy. So, that's an easy name to adjust to a female name. Let's make it Pauline. Yeah, the same one from Donkey Kong and Super Mario Odyssey. That Pauline. <laughs> Alright, there's one more. Also appears during the day, it looks like, so... Let's go hunt for a Centret. There we go. <laughs> Getting pretty lucky. First two that I face, and already bingo. <laughs> okay, I can hit you again, I think. Not entirely half of the HP bar, so one more. Unless it's a critical. <laughs> But it is not, so... Perfect. Couldn't be more in the red. And therefore, time for a Pokeball. Let's catch the next Johto Pokemon. Because if it isn't obvious, this is another Johto Pokemon. <laughs> there we go. Centret was caught. Let's go check out what this thing is. Centret, the scout Pokemon. It stands on its tail so it can see a long way. If it spots an enemy, it cries loudly to warn its kind. Yeah, it's just a raccoon in my book. <laughs> Centret, another girl. Furret is the final evolution of this thing, so let's go for... Fluffy, because it's such a cuddly and furry thing. <laughs> oh, the names I think of. I know it should have been forbidden for me to think of names. <laughs> but right now, it is not forbidden for me to do so, so let's continue on. And these are Pokémon I'm not going to use for the team anyway, so I usually don't really care too much about the names. <laughs> and what I do care about is healing myself. And it's time for us to move on. Make sure you go full health if you can. There's absolutely no reason you can think of to actually skip out on a Pokémon Center. <laughs> I know you technically can if you're working on some challenges or something like that. But in normal circumstances, whenever you go across the town, always visit the Pokémon Center. Alright, next. Let's return to Route 30 so we can move on with our adventure. Now there's also a couple of Pokémon that can appear here, so... Perhaps even this one. Let's try it again in the next one. Route 30, Violet City, Cherry Grove City. Violet City is indeed what we're after, like I said. Time for the first gym. But also time to actually catch ourselves a Pokémon. And that is not a Pidgey. <laughs> There's actually one more that should appear here, both in Pokémon Silver and in Pokémon Gold. It's going to be a different one depending on your version. Because I'm pretty sure they won't appear in both versions. I'm pretty sure mine is going to be a Weedle. <laughs> because I'm indeed after a Gen 1 bug Pokémon. Weedle slash Caterpie. But I'm pretty sure here in Silver you can actually only get Weedle. The Butterfree Evolution is also uh, possible to get here in Silver, but I think... Yeah, that's going to be for later. So it's indeed a Weedle I'm after. <laughs> My notes do say both of them, but I'm pretty sure one of them is version exclusive. But we do find a Weedle at least, so... Let's go catch this guy. 
Um, yeah. And Joffrey's level 7 now, which should still be fine. Should not be able to take this guy out in one hit. Right. One more. I'm pretty sure I can't do two more, so... Yeah. I'm going to kill it if I attack again, so... This is going to have to do. Pokeball time. And there we go. So far, first try every single time. <laughs> awesome. And this guy we already know, so don't have to care about the Pokedex. Let's go for a name. Luckily it's a boy, so I can just use my regular name. <laughs> Billy. And of course, Billy the second. And this time I do have room for the space. <laughs> Billy, space, two. Not that I'm going to use him, but still. In order to get the evolution lines complete here, I do need to catch this guy. Oh, and speaking of bug uh, Pokemon, <laughs> there's actually a new one. Yeah, the Johto Pokemon actually also have a new set of bug Pokemon. Once again, two of them. And once again, version exclusive. <laughs> Here in silver, you will actually find Ladyba. Ladybug kind of uh, bug, you might say. And Spinarak is going to be the one for Pokemon Gold. I'm pretty sure also in this very same route. And I need to switch to something weaker, because Joffrey is going to kill this guy if I attack him twice. But in the meantime, we are going to catch the first new bug Pokémon in this game. And in fact, I think I might try to actually use this guy. I don't really have a lot of options for my team, so... <laughs> I need to use some Pokémon, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Ladyba, but I do need to use some Pokémon. <laughs> I might try to actually go with this guy for a while. And once again, first try. As if the Pokemon this early in the game are easy to catch. <laughs> Lediba, the five-star Pokemon. When the weather turns cold, lots of Lediba gather from everywhere to cluster and keep each other warm. Yeah, just like real ladybugs, because I'm pretty sure they do the same. <laughs> Alright, need to... Peek on my notes in order to check out my name for him again. It looks like that is Lester. Kind of forgot about that. <laughs> kind of giving away that I don't really use him a whole lot. But Lediba, I call Lester. And he was sent to Bill's PC. My team is full. <laughs> I'll get him out later. I just promised to use him, so. Yeah, there's nothing new going to appear here, so. I'm pretty much. Cut out everything unless a level up happens. Uh, yeah, I know this is also a new Pokemon. <laughs> Not really new for us, but still. It is of the same evolution line as the Weedle, and therefore don't really have to go catch this guy. But just like in Pokemon Red, as you can see, not every single Pokemon you meet in the wild actually is a basic Pokemon. Sometimes evolved Pokemon can also already appear. But usually it's not recommended to actually go for them if you actually want to build up strong Pokémon. Because the Evolution Pokémon usually have a little bit lower stats than the basic Pokémon do. So evolving them yourself usually is a better bet <laughs> in order to get higher stats. But if you're lazy and don't want to train your Pokémon and want an evolved one immediately in order to fill up your Pokédex or something... <laughs> then of course you can always do. But anyway, time to talk about the next thing also appearing in this route. Trainer Battles. Everyone's having fun battling. You should too. Indeed. That's the whole reason why I'm here. <laughs> Pokemon trainers will appear on these routes, as you can see. Usually standing still or looking around them, trying to find you. <laughs> and the moment you get in their line of sight... I just lost. So, I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait. You look weak. Come on. Let's battle. The moment you meet one of these uh, trainers... You automatically go into a battle. In this case, against a youngster, Joey. Alright, these are not compared to uh, regular wild Pokemon battles. Trainers have a tendency to have more Pokemon. This is an example of a trainer only having one, but still. 
so need to make us get used to the mechanic. But sometimes trainers actually have more Pokemon, and usually also higher level than Pokemon you find in the wild. So definitely a lot tougher facing trainers than just regular wild Pokemon. And therefore also worth more experience points. Still worth doing. <laughs> So, the moment uh, they run out, they lose the battle. You get some money from them, also returning from the first game. Only this time you can send some to your mother. <laughs> Which I usually do. I usually don't run out of money in this game, so... Don't have to worry about that. But I am worried about Joffrey actually wearing down at this point, so let's go switch to my strongest Pokémon for now. I'll do some level grinding later, right before the gym. I'll actually cut the episode for that. <laughs> but for now, let's continue battling. You're a Pokémon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. Indeed. Not per se for the battling, but... I want the experience points and I want your money. <laughs> but most importantly... Experience points. You can actually attack a lot of Pokémon in the wild in order to level up your team. But trainer battles are a way more viable way to do so. They tend to drop way more experience. Unless they actually put in level 2 Pokémon, <laughs> which is pathetically weak, even this early in the game. And yeah, let's just keep it with Fairy. I'd actually like to continue until I get to Violet City. And then I'll stop the episode for a moment in order to do some grinding off-screen. And I'll do the gym battle at the end of that. Sounds like a good plan. Fairy is pretty much already a level where you can take on the gym, but uh, I'd like the rest also to be at that point. <laughs> but anyway, there goes the second trainer. Just a standard Pidgey and a standard Rattata. Nothing too important quite yet. And what do we have here? Trainer tips. No stealing other people's Pokémon. Pokéballs are to be thrown only at wild Pokémon. You could try to actually throw a Pokeball in a trainer battle, but uh, trust me, that won't work. <laughs> I'm not a trainer, but if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. Oh, this is just a hint in order to see how trainer battles actually work, but I already explained that. <laughs> oh, and this guy is actually an example of that. As you can see, he turns around, and the moment he sees you, then you will battle. So technically, this is one that can be avoided. <laughs> But I'll do all of the battles. Instead of a bug Pokémon, I found a trainer! Yeah, as long as you don't throw a Pokéball at me... <laughs> I'm going to catch a trainer! <laughs> oh, that would have been nice. Ooh, Caterpie! Hey, where'd you get that? <laughs> have you been cheating in Pokémon Gold? <laughs> there we go. Critical hit. 33. Should be able to reach level 11 with uh, Fairy at least, before reaching Violet City. But they also need to give the other Pokémon a chance, of course. Some of them are really far behind in level. <laughs> level 2, but it is a bird, so you should be fine to use against a bug Pokémon. Especially since uh, Spearow already has a flying-type move. One of the few Pokémon this early in the game that already comes equipped with uh, a move other than a normal-type move. Yeah, he's able to take this guy out in three hits, despite only being level two. <laughs> yeah, I told you Sparrow was one of the better birds this early in the game. Oh, wow! <laughs> it filled up entirely in one battle. <laughs> awesome, Ferdinand. So, there goes another trainer. And immediately a level up for my Sparrow. Who's going to be my bird for quite a long time, so... <laughs> Also need to keep him in check when it comes to the levels of the team. Right, um, what is this kind of place? Dark Cave. Hmm. Let's get some more intel. Dark Cave. If Pokémon could light it up, I'd explore it. Ooh, that sounds like a familiar mechanic. Remember Flash? <laughs> Dark caves also return in this game, apparently. And also items lying on the ground. <laughs> Antidote. Which is able to cure your poison illness, if you have any. 
that's not the only thing lying around. So, let's go grab you. A Pokeball, just lying on the ground. <laughs> Somebody who missed the Pokemon, apparently. <laughs> I got a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you. Are you the guy who dropped the Pokeball just now? <laughs> Alright. Caterpie again. I should still remember to actually put Ferdinand in front, because... Um, it would be a better bet against these bugs. <laughs> he has proven, despite being low level, that he's actually really good against these bugs. Because of already having a flying type move. Pretty much all of the other Pokémon in this game, this early on, only come equipped with normal type moves. Here's already a type advantage that I can um, use. Flying advantage over bugs. Still pretty low level, so this should still fill up my XP bar quite a lot. Even though it's shared experience, of course. <laughs> Weedle. Alright. Same kind of Pokemon. It just looks different. <laughs> but works the same. <laughs> oh, and I think I know why the antidote was actually lying around on the ground here. <laughs> the bugs here have a poison type move, and therefore are able to poison me. Draining me of my HP every turn. And with them also attacking me, I'm quite quickly dying. <laughs> Alright, level up at least. This was the final one. No, it was not, of course not. Um, yeah, it's another bug, but Ferdinand is wearing down a bit. And therefore, he might not be able to survive. He is higher level now, so... No, but he's still not able to take this bug out in one hit. Ow. <laughs> okay, there he goes. Or maybe not. <laughs> one HP left. <laughs> but next turn he will fall because of the poison. Status ailment is going to kill me, so... Now I am forced to actually change my Pokémon. Let's go with Joffrey. A little bit of a higher Pokémon when it comes to levels, but, but also one that still needs to reach level 11. Usually the level I'd like to be before entering the gym. So you can also use a couple of level ups. Not that the level 2 opponent is going to help with that, but still. <laughs> there we go. And that was the final one. Thank you for the experience points, sir. <laughs> Despite being low level, there were four of them, so wrecking up XP quite nicely. And Ferdinand is down. <laughs> yeah, poison status ailment does not only get affected in battles, it only affects you while walking around. Oh, yeah, of course, Bellsprout. That's what you get if you don't look at your notes for a couple of minutes and you forget that in this new area, new Pokémon can also appear. <laughs> I wasn't quite ready for you yet, sir. But you're indeed on my notes, so... Let's go input another bird. The grass type should not be able to damage him too much. Like I said. <laughs> it's a Pokémon that I actually missed in Pokémon Red. It's a Pokémon from the first generation, so don't think it's new. If you've only been following along my Let's Play of uh, Pokemon Red. <laughs> this is not a new Pokemon. He's indeed also in Pokemon Red, but I couldn't catch one there. Because it's Pokemon Blue exclusive when it comes to catching. So we were only able to see him um, as opponent's Pokemon, and not per se as one of mine. But here in Pokemon Silver, he is a Pokemon that can be caught in the wild. And therefore, let's go catch our first Bellsprout. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Once again, first try. And this is a Pokedex we can actually go over, because of him being new. <laughs> we have Bellsprout, the flower Pokémon. It plants its feet deep on the ground to replenish water. It can't escape its enemy while it's rooted. So perhaps it's a better idea not to be a plant. <laughs> also has downsides being a plant. <laughs> Right, my name for the 
Bellsprout, Weepin Bell, Victory Bell, Evolution Line is actually pretty predictable, I think. <laughs> but it is Victor after Victory Bell. Awesome name. Suits him nicely. <laughs> now, let's go see if there's more surprises for me. Route 31. That is indeed where we are. That's the whole reason why I missed checking my list. <laughs> but there's no new Pokémon for us to catch. However, my notes do say to catch a second Bellsprout. Because this guy can be traded for a new Pokémon later on. So we're going to catch another one. <laughs> I've already got mine, which I'm going to keep for my evolution line entry, you might say. But I also need to trade one. So I'm going to catch another one. Um, let's do this a little bit more safely. Because I think um, Fairy is just going to kill this guy. <laughs> or this girl, I must say. It's a girl. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have to name you, because I'm not going to keep you. I'm not going to care. <laughs> Please keep Hoot Hoot alive. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Time for a Pokeball. Can't weaken him any more than this. And he also can't weaken me any more than this. <laughs> but hey, we have one. A female Bellsprout, which we're going to call... Just like in the first generation, Trait. Because we're not going to keep this gal with us for very long. <laughs> so, let's head into Violet, finally. 